I think you guys, I think you two, your mom won't recognize it, but you two will recognize it, because I think you've heard it roughly 30,000 times. Is it Vatican rag? <laughs> <laughs> wow, right. <Ray. laughs> I was like, what Tom Lehrer song have I heard the most? Okay. Good job. I knew the answer, so I wasn't going to say. I see if I can just pull it. <laughs> well, it... Um, we could do the. I, I I read your I gave your mom the poem and she said, "Have you uh, have you got uh, uh, tune for it?" I was about to pay Tom and then I thought, "Wow, this is ch the rhyme pat everything." It's well, we'll get to that. Okay, so we're going to start with uh, holding my heart and um, shall we go, Maestro? <laughs> yeah, yeah. You put my heart on a silver plate Cared for mine just like your own Never abused, just held on loan It was forty years ago, you see when I found out amazingly Her I picked out for my mate Put my heart on a silver plate Cared for mine just like her own Never abused, just held on loan Never tried to give it back Never caused a break or crack You put my heart on a silver plate Cared for mine just like your own Never abused, just held on loan. Still she holds it to this day, so I would just like to say, honesty, fidelity, gifts you freely gave to me that I hadn't had before, that I from the others I'd adored. It's amazing, can't you see what your gifts have meant to me? No one ever forced you to. They're just things you chose to do. I find it hard to just obey when you say what I can't say. How saintly you appear to me. I'm not a saint, I hear your plea. So saint's a word I must not use, and yet I fear I must refuse. Instead, I praise you to the skies for love you give in any guise. You put my heart on a silver plate, cared for mine just like your own, never abused, just held on loan. Hug and kiss and dulcet tone, all are meant for me alone. I'm so grateful, don't you know, for the way these gifts of flow. You put my heart on a silver plate, cared for mine just like your own, never abused, just held on loan. Thank you. Uh, all of these are heartfelt. Uh, as you girls know, since I imposed this on you as children, I'm a big Weird Al fan, so the idea for a couple of parodies occurred to me, and I've been listening to the Carol King song, I Felt the Earth Move, since the album. I played that album till the grooves wore off, and then it came to me one day when Patrice was being difficult, and so uh, here we are with I Felt the Cat Move. I felt the cat move under my feet I felt myself tumbling down, a tumbling down I felt my knees start to tremble in whenever she's around Oh kitty, when I see your face living at the break of I feel 
feel myself tumbling down, a tumbling down. I feel my knees start to tremble and whenever she's around. And there we go. I, uh, <laughs> I really enjoy that song. And, uh, and by the way, I, I think I mentioned to all of you, I found out I'm a baritone. I, the, between the music teacher and working with uh, Nathan, I, um, turns out my keys are B flat and C. <clears throat> and if you ever go back to listen to I Felt the Earth Move, she sings it at F, which is so far out of my <laughs> range. <laughs> okay, well, this, uh, this is a true story. And uh, I think it was Ray who said to me, uh, let's see, the ballad of Jack and Diane. Anyway, it's a, it's a talk sing song. Uh, and it's a little long, but uh, it is the actual story of the uh, first lie I told your mom. <laughs> so uh, let's have first lie, last lie. The Hung Far Low Chinese Restaurant Perched on Grand Street overlooking the building Whose irregular setbacks are reminiscent Of the craggy peaks of the Sierra Nevada Its name is a humiliating pun Intended to attract round-eyed patrons. Sadly, it works. I take a last look at the red and green mobile Christmas card with Vicky's number on it in looping cursive. Then I call the number, she answers, I say come to lunch, she says yes, she thinks yes, we're dressed for work, we're surrounded by tourists seeking simple pleasure, no one else can see the flickering flame of two burning questions emanating from the table by the window we both had rules we both had been hurt I asked is your dad still alive and still married to your mom she says yes, honestly. She says, I don't date men on the rebound. Are you on the rebound? I say no, dishonestly. It's my first lie also the last line I will ever tell her. And those of you familiar with the song, thank you. <laughs> those of you familiar with the song will notice that the second half is gone, and that is at least partly due to your objections of the vivid imagery. <laughs> uh, as in I'm bleeding from a thousand fresh cuts. Some people like that. <laughs> okay, uh, this is another parody, and uh, I have no idea where this came from. Uh, it's just, I go to the farmer's market every week, and it's more or less true. 
So here are the, oh, and I, I think I told you, I, everybody knows this. I was actually, I had a request for this today at the farmer's market. Oh. And I sang it for Hodge and the guy from the booth next to his. <laughs> All right, so farmer's market blues. Just after nine, but there was already a heck of a line. First up was the meat guy who sells eggs too. He didn't have hot dogs, so what could I do? His chickens were lazy, so the limit was one. It just drove me crazy, and I'd only begun. A two red line stood behind 21. the fish booth just hours passed on only to find out he just had one prop I had first world problems which were really diffuse and then started singing the farmer's market blues that line about first world problems was for you guys <laughs> And once again, this one, Words of Love, I just noticed that I said, I love you every morning to your mom, every morning, you know, for 42 years. And I thought, can I do better than this? And for a while, I rotated through all the foreign languages in this song. And then I thought, okay, that's enough. <laughs> and now I just say, when my day begins and she kisses me for the first time, I just say, I love you. But um, this expresses my feelings about that issue of saying the same thing over and over. So, words of love. It's really tough to find new ways to say I love you every day. The same words on a daily basis seem to me not love but stasis English words I do adore but I wish they offered more ways in which I could express the love I find I must confess yes I find it really tough coming up with words enough could say ja Tim, but gee, would I pronounce it painfully? Take arrows, the Spanish phrase, but would it set your heart ablaze? Would I win your love medallion with Tiamo in Italian? If I said Yog Elsker dig in sweet would you zag or zig? Yes, I find it really tough coming up with words enough. Ich liebe dich, her words I know. I could pronounce, but even so, these words in German said with zeal are soft, are not soft, but hard as steel. Yes, I find it really tough coming up with words enough. If I could just have my, my way, I'd invent new words to say. Something novel that would show the love I feel I must bestow. Yes, I find it really tough coming up with words enough. Thank you. Thank you. Uh, by the way, uh, the reason that Nathan is the perfect accompanist for me is that he can both lead and follow. And so when I, and as for the flubbed lyric there, 
I've never forgotten, I was about 12 or 13 years old, and Frank Sinatra released a song with one word flubbed. And of course, all music now is pre-recorded, and so he could have fixed it, but he didn't, because he said he thought it was authentic. So every lyric I mess up is authentic. <laughs> uh, the next one is, You Affect Me, and it comes from a single phrase from a letter from 50 years ago, and I thought, it's true, she does affect me that way. So, objected to the word pizzazz. He said, words that end in Z don't work in songs. And I said, well, she does create pizzazz, so. So, uh, did I force you guys to listen to King of the Road when you were little? Yes. Okay. <laughs> Just check it. Um, Ever since I first heard this with my dad, um, I thought, gee, this, you could make fun of this song. 